Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. January 1st, 2012, New Year's Day. Brand new day of a brand new year and a brand new YouTube video for you. Today I'm showing you the DV repeater board or DV-RPTR. This comes from Germany from a group of D-Star innovators and it is a D-Star modem board but uh, with a difference. The other modem boards like uh, this uh, Moencom board here and uh, also indeed my old Satoshi board which is this one here in the enclosure most of them, or all of them rely on the CMX589 modem chip which is uh, one there and on the Moencom board it's a little surface mount chip in there. What makes this board different is that the GMSK functionality is uh, done in software using DSP so there is no hardware modem which means uh, it can virtually do any digital mode you might want to imagine uh, be it packet radio or P25 uh, PSK31 um, it just takes a rewrite of the firmware. The hardware and firmware is all open source so it's open for people to experiment like that. Uh, behind it you can see the case um, which is a nice extruded aluminium case with a pre-cut panel on the front which um, accepts the uh, the sockets. Ex um, very nicely cut, um, perfect uh, locations. A very nice board, these uh, nice rubber buffers and uh, on, the, on the ends which makes for a very nice uh, finished product. Connects via USB. Uh, the audio connection is via a 6-pin mini DIN and there's also a 12-volt socket there as well uh, for uh, standalone functionality when you don't have a computer connected it could be powered via there. This uh, connector is wired the same as the data socket you find on uh, on an amateur radio, the, uh, the packet radio data socket. Um, pin for pin, so you can use a male to male cable for that. What I've done instead is I've made an adapter cable up to go to a 9 pin D connector, which is wired up the same as um, the uh, Moencom board and also how I've done the Satoshi board enclosure there. And uh, I've got that wired up to a Tate T2000 Mark II radio. This is a trunking radio. Um, it can have four conventional channels programmed, which is what I've got. Um, I've got this on 70 centimeters. This is a UHF radio. Uh, the only issue with this is that the firmware has a built-in one-minute timeout, and I haven't been able to change that. So uh, any D-Star QSOs that go more than a minute, um, it cuts them off, which is a bit of a problem. But um, we'll work around it. Uh, work around it somehow. Um, the software, um, the, the the board will be supported with the WinDB software from from Fred, uh, the WinDB. And uh, this uh, software here is supplied uh, the DB Repeater Control Center. A couple of tabs across the top I'll go through. The system tab allows you to change uh, the call sign and uh, the locator and the city name, uh, the frequency you're operating on, uh, the operating mode, be it a hotspot, single frequency, private call sign, and then, or simplex link, or a gateway link, which allows you to use it as a remote link for a remote repeater, which doesn't have internet. And also it can be a full duplex repeater as well. Uh, this is where you select the language, and this will change the, uh, the screens to uh, various languages. It will do uh, IRC DDB as well. You can put in the login and password there for callsign routing. And that's the D plus authentication callsign. I've got my callsign in there. And at the bottom, this is where you put in the APRS service so it can strip out the GPS information from incoming transmissions and send that off to the APRS network. At the bottom is the transmit and receive indicators for radio, uh, the reflector or the internet, and also um, the callsign routing. This is where the, uh, the information of received calls comes up here and on the side here is an S-meter. Uh, the S-meter shows uh, bit error rate. If uh, there's errors in the transmissions then you will uh, see that in there and uh, the higher, the greener, the better. And if I key up now uh, you should see uh, it lights up nice and green, a good strong signal. I've got this radio running into a dummy load under the workbench. Um, okay, so what we've got here is, is two radios. I've got the uh, 91 AD connected up, or uh, well not connected up, programmed up with the frequency for the uh, for this r local radio. My other radio here, outside antenna, and it's connected up to my local D-Star repeater, which is also connected to Reflector 1. Reflector 1 has been very busy this uh, last 24 hours, especially now with um, New Year's Day about fast approaching in Europe. 
and not quite hit North America yet, but it's very busy. And we got Barry, Mike Mike 6, Bravo Foxtrot Hotel, is uh, speaking there. So what I'll do is I'll link up this software here to Reflector 1C, uh, make sure it's connected to Reflector 1C and connect, and we should see that the board transmits. It's indicated in here, green connected to Reflector 1C, and incoming transmissions yeah, and then we got Ted uh, VE7 LEE from Canada and we're indicating uh, the transmitter radio is transmitting and it's receiving from the internet and he's got uh, a good signal no bit errors on his uh, internet stream so there we go uh, so therefore I'm supposed to follow the Chinese tradition but under my mother's side uh, which is actually I French. think Ted's talking to um, Barry, Mike Mike 6, yeah, Bravo, Foxtrot from, Hotel. Um, no, it's, uh, so what I can do is also I'm turn a, up the... On uh, other side, it's a combination of Pat, Pat there we go. and uh, Meiji, weird combination. So it's a bit of latency uh, between the two. Side, half French, uh, 25% uh, Spanish, and about 25% Native Indian of the Six Nation tribe in Eastern Canada. Ted's giving us a rundown on his uh, family lineage, and you'll see there also the, it's, uh, the one minute timeout's gone up, so the radio stopped transmitting. We'll see what happens next. Uh, we should have. Uh, it's gone quiet. Well, Ted might have timed out on his end as well. Everything's gone quiet. Uh, while I've got uh, a bit of silence, I will show here, I'm also tailing the log file from the uh, D-Star Gateway here so I can keep an eye on what's going on and you can see indeed that... Um okay, Ted's talking again. Oh, there's Barry. Yes, sir, I noticed that my... Um uh, oh, bit of R2D2 there. Uh, from on again and said that I'm linked to Reflector 1. I said, hmm, that's kind of strange. Ted's coming in via a, a DVAP dongle. One. So, yes, I dropped out and I reestablished the link there. But anyway, we should let you go there, Barry, because it's getting close to the midnight hour for you. And you have to get ready. Um, I don't know what you're going to do. Uh, for New Year's Eve uh, in the next 30 minutes. You can see the transmit indicator uh, one, on the board, a little service mount LED to, there. They fired off. Uh, oh, there's the timeout again. That, so we'll go back to the uh, repeater so we can hear that. Uh, or so. Uh, and that unusual things go off at midnight here, around here sometimes. But uh, anyways, uh, have a good evening there. Uh, Barry there, I'm going to get going. Got someone here on my lap there. MM6, be friendly and helpful. VE7 LEE. So the next over should come up okay again until the timeout's limit is reached. Oh, it's not transmitting. Oh, we'll go back to this one. Solid New Year when it comes and enjoy your party there. Seven degrees. A uh, happy New Year when it comes, Ted. Always a pleasure. I'll be back to one Charlie and standing. Let's see if I can talk to Barry. It might work. Two, uh, three, uh, Barry, oh, no. how you doing? Uh, go ahead, pick it up. Uh, no, no, it's, it's going to be a busy reflector. From Casey to I think I'll get a word in edgeways. Okay, so there you have it. Oh, good evening, Ben. This is Michael, VK5ZEA. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, I recommend having a look at this uh, board. www.dv-rptr.de Check it out. The price is right. And it works. Being actively worked on and updated uh, virtually every day. New versions of software coming out. So uh, there you go. This is Michael, VK5ZDA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. Seven threes for now, and we'll talk to you again soon.